Hey guys, Kevin here. Um, starting with a live video. Um, so we have like two more minutes, and then we'll we'll be starting. So I'm trying out this new uh, portrait landscape landscape mode. Um, so yeah. Uh, I already have the lessons ready, so so how to get regularized and become a top agent. So these are uh, these are two topics and that require a lot of lessons. So there's a lot of uh, details or input, but um, uh, the reason why I'm putting these two topics together is because um, there's a problem with a lot of Filipinos. We have this thing called the Pwede Na Mindset. And the Pwede Na Mindset means um, Pwede Na. <laughs> and, um, diba, ano, parang, like back in school, we talk about Pasang Awa. We talk about like, like just, just enough to get by. And, As a result, we have as a result, one of our problems is we just do enough to get by, and that's uh, that's that's a problem. Like, ang ending nun hindi ka happy sa buhay mo so. Yeah, we'll just give it maybe five minutes, and then uh, we'll, we'll we'll begin. So, um, if if you're new, uh, my name is Kevin, and I'm the guy who created Call Center Training Tips uh, We started just to help a few friends by creating a guide on how to get hired in a call center. Because I used to, my, my friends used to ask me a lot of questions about how to get hired in a call center, and then I explain everything in three hours. And then after three hours, we go to call center companies, we apply, and then they they get hired, and they get hired for lunch, dinner, yung Yossi ko back then, when I was a smoker. And uh, yun, papainom sila pag sweldo. And that's, uh, that's it. And then paulit-ulit yung process. And then I decided na just write it. Tapos project ko nun is making websites. So I started making a site. I started blogging. And then I put together callcentertrainingtips.com uh, for that. And uh, if you're new, uh, follow, the, follow the page. Um, let me just fix uh, and if you've been following the blog for a while uh, my recommendation buy a notebook notebook is very useful if you're looking for a job or if you're trying to improve your job um, like a notebook dedicated for your work is really really important I'm gonna talk about that in future posts but uh, just gonna lang just buy a notebook and just write things down you you'd be using these for interviews and uh, whatnot uh, yeah if you're um, if you like I've said, if you're new, start following the start following our Facebook page. Uh, visit the website callcentertrainingtips.com. It has over 200 lessons 
on how to get hired in the call center, how to thrive, and how to like uh, go through difficult situations. Okay, so. So it turns out that I have two um, two pages of lessons on how to become how to get regularized and become a top agent because apparently I wrote a guide for choose uh, last Saturday and I wrote a guide today um, while I'm preparing this so yeah anyway while we're waiting for some more people um, Uh, hit follow and then on Facebook I think there's an option where you can uh, get a notification every time that I'm going live so when you when you get that you're you're gonna get a notification you, you'll be able to see every time but um, the idea for now is that for the next um, for the next three months we will be having these lives at around 11, 11 in the morning, uh, Monday to Saturday. Uh, yeah, and if, if you enjoy this video, um, you can just share this with your friends who are, um, who are interested in working in a call center. And especially uh, with the topic that we have right now, you can share it with people who were working in a call center and they're having trouble with their work so like maybe this can help and uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment just send me a message if you're new uh, send me a message on the facebook page and i'll be sending you a link to a free reviewer so you can self-study uh, and it has the link to the website as well so you will have access to the free 200 plus lessons that I already have posted okay and uh, yeah so we're starting um, so today's stop uh, today's topic is how to get regularized and become a top agent in a call center so story time first um, uh, maybe you have a friend in like in person na kinaiinggitan mo like sino ba sa inyo yung may gano'n na and like uh, I have I have a friend like that back in college uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna refer to him by his name maybe keep it secret so this friend from college, um, I don't know, uh, he's very, he's very good at a lot of things actually. Nakainggit kasi he's good at drawing, I think. But I think he's also better at me in English and he's a better writer. So he writes really good thing, a good, I don't know, uh, uh, he can write poetry, he can write uh pag may mga speech he, he writes that nakakainggit tapos lahat ng lahat ng cute ng college as in close sa kanya lahat ng chicks ng college nakapalibot sa kanya tapos inaakap akap siya para siyang teddy bear or ano so yun parang ano parang pag nakikita ko ninggit ako pero friend ko siya so pero nainggit din ako so admittedly and um, so yeah, if you know my story, I had to stop and I had to start working immediately. And um, uh, the the guy left school then, uh, took up nursing, he became a nurse, and then he also became a BPO worker, and he he su he succeeded. And and taas ng sweldo niya, he worked for uh, big banks. And as a, as a result, every time na magkikita kami, naingit pa rin ako sa kanya. And um, uh, right now, we're, um, uh, I noticed that um, 
Tapos yun, parang siya yung una nagka-card, siya yung una ano. Ingit na ingit talaga ako sa kanya. And, um, and then something happened. Like, uh, ano ko, parang ilang months ago, we, like, we started hanging out ulit. And then he started sharing uh, with me a lot of his uh, personal problems. And, I'm beginning to realize na ang laki ng la- Hello? Yeah. Uh, connected pa ba ako? If, uh, yeah, uh, I just need to check kung gumagana pa yung Testing if this works. So, may delay ng content. So, yeah, we're good. Let's continue. Um, okay, so, yeah, uh, let's continue. So, yeah, well, the reason why I was talking about my college friend is... Um, Sometimes when we when we have conversations, I tend to get confrontational. And when I say confrontational, like uh, for example, maangal siya about uh, yung career niya. I usually end up saying do something about it. And when I say do something about it, start applying, start looking for better jobs. Use your um, use your use your free time. Diba? and actively look for better opportunities and in the same way he complained about uh, love life love life the love life anime yung love life na love life na ano like he's been complaining about that like start meeting people i introduced her to uh, i introduced him to my friend and she wanted to introduce her friend sabi ng friend ko e, bagay sila nito and like he told me na, oh, I'll think about it, diba? And, um, I think the, the number one problem that uh, my friend has is he believes in suerte. And I'm pretty sure that suerte also ha comes into play at one point in your life. Because first off, diba, if you're watching this Facebook Live, Suerte ka na, kasi you're, you're watching this. Kasi unang-una, ano, you have data, internet connection. Marami nagme-message sa akin, wala silang data, hindi nila nakikita yung videos, hindi nila napupuntahan yung website. Tapos parang hanggang ngayon, hindi ko alam kung ano na nangyari sa kanila. Magme-message sila, sure, penging reviewer, papadala ko yung link, ang sagot nila, ah, wala akong data, hindi ko mapupuksan yan. So, yun, wala na, diba? So, checkmate um, and then yun ano uh, and then 
yun, may, may pang internet ka, may pang may smartphone ka, pwede kang mag-google. Sabi nga sa akin ng mentor ko, if you can, if you have internet access, if you can access Google, and you have, ano, you can speak in English, you're top of the top 1% in the world. Diba? You, you're, you're that, you're that fortunate. And, um, uh, and yeah, I, I, I believe that suerte comes into play. Pero if you depend on suerte, actually, if you depend on anything, problema ka. Kasi diba, if you depend on suerte, you're gonna begin to believe that you have no control over your situation. Kasi there's another side of things. It's called being able to do something about it. And when I talk to a lot of people who do well in their career, Sometimes they're gonna say sinwerte lang. And I guess if you're doing well in your career and you're saying sinwerte ka lang, I guess that's acceptable. But if you're doing poorly in your career and then you say the opposite, minalas lang, then maybe there's something else, diba? If you're not doing your best in your job and then you say minalas lang, uh, and then something bad happens to your career, then I don't think minalas ka lang. I think minalas ka plus palpak yung performance mo. So, you have to be doing your best. Parang if you're doing your best and then minalas ka, then that's acceptable. Because that happens. Sometimes you're doing your best, the company closes down. Sometimes you're doing your best and something outside of your control happens. So, yun. anyway, uh, yun, I wanted to start it with that, na, ano, with that story because there are people who have everything going for, for them, pero walang nangyayari. And then there are also people who have nothing going for them, and then they take that and make it into something great. And I'm not saying ako yun. I'm able to have start with little and do something. Or I don't think that's great. May mga tao na mas, ma, mas, mag, mas magagaling pa. And that's what I'm trying to say. You can take whatever you have and then take it forward, move forward, get something better out of your life. Okay? Um, so, yun, uh, back on topic tayo. Get regularized, become a top agent. Uh, ang main point ko dun sa story, nothing happens because swerte ka. Uh, in Chinese, suerte is two characters, opportunity and preparation. So, it happens when opportunity meets preparation. So, explain ko sa'yo uh, yung preparation na part. Diba? So, when, when, you be, when you start work, you're gonna learn this thing called the KPI. And a KPI simply means that... Uh, uh, key performance indicator um, yeah it's a way for the company to measure your performance so it's a way for them to it's a way for them to um, what do you call that to track if you're doing your job or not so um, is that we go to a company and then uh, you get paid and then for on the company's end how do they know if you're doing a, a good job and these are KPIs so the most common KPIs in a call center situation are AHT that means average handling time um, that means how long the call takes so if you talk to uh, so if you talk to a customer, sometimes depending on the company, depending on the account, depending on the kind of service that you uh, that you handle, it's going to be different. So, for example, you're in a uh, tech support situation. So sometimes they'll allow nine minutes or ten minutes talk to a client for that long. That's the uh, that's the acceptable age. The nine minutes. So that means you have to fix the problem within within nine minutes. Uh, some 
some customer service situations include billing. Uh, pwedeng six minutes lang yung AHT dun. Uh, other other accounts, say directory assistance or something na mabilis lang, magta-transfer ka lang. Ang AHT dun is uh, less than one minute. Alright? Um, what else? Hardest account with the hard... Uh, oh, we have a question from Rusville Francisco. For you, what's the hardest account with the hardest KPI to meet? Um, well, hardest is subjective. So, that, that means is depending kung ano yung personality mo, san ka comfortable. But a lot of people will have a difficult time um, with sales. Because sales is the KPI with the most complexity. When I say complexity, um, actually we're gonna go over that later when I, when we discuss the top agent part. So I'm starting with the KPI because uh, to give you a background on what will be covered during the uh, when when you get hired in a call center. So yeah, the first one is AHT and it's the most common. So whether you're in customer service, tech support, you're gonna deal with AHT usually. Um, the next KPI is sales. And um, so sales is really simple. May bumili sayo or walang bumili, yun yung sales. So pag may bumili, may sales ka, walang bumili, wala. Quality, quality is usually handled by um, this group of people in the call center called the QAs. So quality assurance. What they do is they listen to each call and they make sure that you are following the script. So when you begin training, they're gonna give you a script and then there are things called talking points. So things that you're supposed to say. So, um, for example, you're taking inbound calls from uh, customers, they start. Um, they, they start calling you, you start answering with, thank you for calling, this is Kevin, how may I help you? Uh, uh, you start with that. And if you change that into, let's say, thank you for calling, and then you change your name, and then they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna go through your script line by line, um, line by line, and then they look at parts where you don't follow the script. And then there are uh, acceptable talking points there are there are things that you need to say um, in verbatim when I say in verbatim you have to follow it to the letter uh, an example is like if uh, one of the talking points back in tech support is if you if you successfully assist a customer you have to say um, uh, by the way, our office is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and if you experience any problems with your service, you can call us at any time. So you have to say that on all the calls. So those are being checked. That's part of quality. Okay, That's how well you follow the script. And then the next quality is customer feedback. Uh, in some places, this is called the customer survey or... Um, but it's basically how the customer rated your call. So if you've ever called Globe or PLDT or anything related to customer service, sometimes they're going to ask you uh, how would you rate our customer service representative? Uh, would you recommend Globe to your friends? So yun yung survey. Diba? And this is, uh, this is one area, one KPI where I got top agent. And then, um, so these are the most common. Uh, different companies may have different um, KPIs, but uh, these, are, um, these are the most common. The final KPI is uh, attendance, and we're going to talk about that quite a bit. So, for example, um, and uh, attendance is one of the most important KPIs that you need to focus on, especially if you're new, especially if you're not regularized yet, especially if you're not top agent yet. Um, so, yeah, let's start. Attendance. Um, 
Remember nung interview? Yung final interview mo? Uh, the interviewer asks you, are you amenable to working night shift, weekends, and holidays? And then you said yes, and then you got the job. So, attendance is a KPI that makes sure that you are you are keeping that promise to your interviewer, right? So, because in a call center, I'm not, you, you, you must have heard this enough times, you can get fired if you're late three times or absent, different from company to company. But if you're absent during your training period, you're gonna get fired, guaranteed yun. Doesn't matter what the, what the cost is, you're, uh, during the training period, if someone dies and you have to be absent, they're gonna take you out of that training batch. If your excuse is acceptable, they're gonna have reassign you to another training batch. But in some companies, they don't really care. They just fire you immediately, okay? And um, my, my team leader, back when I was working in a call center, told me this. All the other KPIs, the ones I talked about, HD, sales quality, customer feedback, these are all related to skills. And skills, if you have a good attitude, you can learn it. If your problem is attendance, then you're, it's mostly an attitude problem. It's, it's not something that they can fix. So if your problem is attendance, they're going to want to fire you because you're not going to make a good agent. You're not dependable if your problem is attendance. And that's a part of your personality that you need to fix, okay? Um, wait. Yeah, I wish I saved that. Um, there you go. I'm gonna show you something really quick. We had a, a Facebook group back in um, 2013. What is that? Can I move to this right now? Hello, content not available. Okay, there you go. So this is our training batch. We are Comcast batch 69A and um, we have about 27 people when we started. All right. I'm not even sure if this is 27, but we're 20 something people, maybe 26, maybe 28. So I just put 27 here on my notes, but um, the idea is only 15 of us made it to the production floor. So from training, almost, uh, there aren't a lot of people who passed. And uh, the way it happened is, uh, no, uh, not many people failed dun sa mga assessments. I think there are one or two people who failed because of the assessments. But most of them failed because of attendance problems, right? And um, and that's 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 how it happened. I guess five people, like absent, nagkaroon sila ng something personal problem, stop going, they missed work. Yung iba na late, na late ng matagal, they missed work, and wala na ano. Uh, 15 people made it to the production floor and then uh, actually I think just five of us got regularized and then after one year there are only three of us left. So it's me, Troy, and Marielle. That's uh, just three of us left. And uh, and that's the thing. Mataas ang attrition rate sa call center. That means no, uh, not a lot of people survive um, survive the work because call center work is difficult. BPO work is difficult. First off, night shift siya. 
sec, uh, iba yung schedule mo. You're, you're following the client's uh, time schedule. <coughs> and um, that, that makes it difficult. And then if you're not used to speaking in English, you're gonna speak in English all the time. So, um, uh, so yeah, some, some things you need to remember. When you when you start working in a call center, wag ka magpapautang kahit kanino. Uh, remember this: 27 people, only three uh, three stayed working in the company after one year. Usong uso sa call center mangutang tapos magresign. So okay magawal. Tapos wala na. Yung style nga ng iba papahiram ko sa ATM ko. Uh, I sasan ko sa ATM ko. That doesn't happen. Ire-report lang nila sa bank, I lost ATM. Wala na. <laughs> ATM, na yung ATM na hawak mo, wala na. Um, so, yeah, huwag ka magpapautang, huwag ka sasama sa inuman. Kasi a lot of, a lot of these people, I, I saw this when I was working there, ilahin ka talaga nila pa baba. So, for example, um, Magla-lunch kami. And um, the, way that, ano, the way that the company handled us is they handled us in a way that they trusted us. What that means is, pag nag-lunch ka, they're not, they're not gonna tell you na ay late ka or over lunch. They're just gonna let you just come in, do your work, finish your work. Tapos, when the time comes, parang at the end of the month, they're gonna evaluate your attendance na. Uy, ano, uh, ilang one week pala tong nagto two hours lunch. Tapos yun, sasabihin ka na lang nila, kakasapin ka nila na, uy, two hours lunch ka, anong, anong problema? And then some of, some of the people got fired doing that. And then the, first, the, the, the person who discovered that you can, ano, you can have lunch for two hours na hindi ka papagalitan ng boss mo, um, that person dragged siguro five or six people na nag two hour lunch sila tapos ako hindi ako sumasama uh, ako yung KJ um, tapos yun tanggal sila like the next month wala na silang trabaho and I don't know about you pero mahirap maghanap ng work uh, pag nag apply ka mag NBI clearance ka, barangay clearance, and medical, all these things. And it's it's gonna take one week of uh, activities before you uh, move forward with that. So, hassle. Kaya ano, huwag ka sasama sa mga ano. Um, and this is medyo ano, embarrassing to admit. Kanina, while rating this, naisip ko, wala pala ako nagiging friends sa training batch ko. No? Ako yung outcast. Hindi, ano, hindi ako magaling makisama. So, maraming galit sa akin. Promise. Ano. And, naisip ko, kung ang kapalit naman nun eh, ano, makikip ko yung trabaho ko. Okay lang. And uh, going back on topic, since attendance is the most important uh, KPI that you need to follow, I had a very difficult time following this KPI. And you're at a point that you're serious about your life. You want to improve your life na nakakahiya matanggal sa trabaho. You have to do everything you can so you can go to work early. And back then, my situation was para niya ako going to Makati. And ito yung problema ko. Kung aalis ako at a certain time, I'll get to work one hour early. And then kung aalis ako 15 minutes later, I'll get to work 5 minutes late. So ikaw, okay lang ba sa'yo one hour early ka sa trabaho? O gusto mo five minutes late? 
Pero obvious naman yung sagot dun eh. Kung 5 minutes late ka, tatanggalin ka ng company mo eventually. 15 minutes difference. So, make sure that you go to your uh, go to your job early. <clears throat> and then, um, yun, yun lang naman. Say no to inuman. Make sure na you sleep on time. Huwag ng coffee after a certain time. Ano, uh, Google mo how to get good sleep. How to get good quality sleep. Gamitin mo yung phone mo, hindi lang sa Mobile Legends. Use it for... Use it to improve your life. Diba? Study your account. So, when you get hired, you make sure na you pay attention to your... Ano? Pay attention uh, to your training. Use your notebook. Paulit-ulit na ako. Have a work journal. And if your company has a paperless policy, what you do is you find workarounds, find solutions. If you have access to your smartphone, uh, take photos, write, write notes in private areas. Like, kunyari, nasa lunch, nasa lunch room ka, nasa Jollibee ka, sulat mo yung notes mo doon, picturean mo, and that's it. You have notes. Um... Ganun ginagawa ko, paperless. Paperless daw kami. Di, ano, uh, itatakas ko yung notes ko. Kasi, uh, if, if you're able to remember the small things that you can use to your advantage and improve every day, di, wala na. Ano, you can, after a year, you have 300% improvement, at least. Diba? So, kahit just remember one thing that will improve you. Diba? Uh, think about it this way. Um, usually, regularization period is usually a six-month period. That means... Uh, that means 20 work days in a, uh, in, in a month times six. So, may 120% improvement ka. If you just remember one thing that you can use to improve and you can apply that improvement anywhere diba uh, wow okay let me just the uh, you have to remember to aim your aim your goals like target higher goals don't don't think of just paano pumasa think about how you can um, how you can like reach top agent uh do do strap na okay so uh, this is um this is one of uh one of the things that I do with uh, my notes. So you have to study your spiel. So the spiel is what you say, what you're supposed to say during a call. And try writing down your spiel 20 times. So one benefit of doing that is you get to memorize it. The other benefit is you, uh, you end up uh, figuring out what to improve with your spiel. Because sometimes uh, <clears throat> the spiel that the company gives you is generic. And what that means is, it's intended to, uh, it's what they came up with. And in some situations, they haven't really thought about the spiel very well. So, may mga mali dun. So, what you do is you try to improve. Um, you have to be mindful of everything that you say, every phrase. Because sometimes there are some phrases that enrage the customers. Kunyari, may request yung customer. Tapos yun, you, you, policy says, you can't do that. Pero you start, the, you, you start your response with, oh, sorry sir, I can't do that. Maano yung customer, ma, mapipigon sa'yo. And then, you're gonna have uh, bad customer feedback. And then, you're gonna have bad quality if you're in sales, bad sales. Magka-cancel out yung sales. And um, yeah, so you have you have to figure out every uh, so when you write down your spiel, 
you don't just fill in your uh, fill in your notebook uh, like you're writing an essay. What you do is every line on your spiel deserves its own line. So every every sen every sentence or maybe every phrase it deserves its own line. So you write it down. So start with thank you for calling. My name is uh, Kevin, and then there's a how can I help you. And then you can you can you can customize your spiel so it can be how can I assist you, and then uh, so every time you rewrite your spiel, uh, and then you write down a phrase on every line, you can write you can take you can actually take notes on the side. So make sure that you have some space, so you can uh, you can put your comments on your on your spiel before you rewrite it again. So. Uh, and then you, you pay attention like for example you're you're discussing something with a customer and then you said something and then the customer got angry or got, got upset so you have to figure out you, you encircle that phrase and then you figure out what's the better way to say it all right so um, so so that's that's a process. Uh, my first my first top agent award is for customer feedback, because my first goal was to make sure that my customers are never angry at me, or um, I'm able to figure out how to how to say things in a way that the customers don't get angry. So for example, if the customer has a request that I can't do, what I do next is um, so. I receive their request first. I don't reject their request. So they say, uh, for example, um, they want me to send an expert to, to their location on a holiday, but we can't do that. So the first, um, the first thing that I'm going to tell the customer is, um, okay, let me check. If we can, if we can do, if we can uh, do that, and then just uh, just acknowledge the uh, just acknowledge what the customer wants to do. So, for example, I understand that you want to uh, that you want to get this uh, problem fixed. Uh, let me let me check if we can accommodate you on that day. But for example, if just in case that we can't send someone over on a holiday, uh, what's the best times for you on the next day so I can reserve those two? I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make a request to my supervisor. We're gonna, we're gonna call the, uh, we're gonna call the scheduling department, and we'll, we'll try to get you the soonest schedule. But what, which will you be home on the next day? Will you? be home the day after that so yun. so I I rejected their request but I, I didn't um, I, I didn't give them the uh, what they were asking for but I gave them a solution so your idea idea is if you're not able to give the customer what they're asking for you need to be able to come up with a solution that they will accept all right, so so that's the idea. Uh, if if you're um, oh wait, we have a question. Oh wait, it's here. So uh, Russell says, just to share in my training, we're not having any spiel. They told us to be spontaneous, but I am struggling being spontaneous. My question is how to be spontaneous. I'm a newbie, by the way. Um, okay, uh, it's it's actually something that that's a little challenging, but with some effort, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to do it. So, um, first thing that we need to figure out is what are you trying to do during the call, right? Are uh, Rusfield, are you doing inbound or outbound calls? what are, are you trying to sell something are you trying to help a customer with a specific problem like billing or tech support 
Are you <coughs> are you trying to what do you call that? Are you processing requests? Are you receiving orders? So, yun muna. What's what's the purpose of the call? Once you figure once you've written down the purpose of the call, you need to you, you can easily write down the your own spiel using the standard elements of the call and the standard elements of the call is hempre the greeting uh, if you're receiving the call it's thank you for calling my name is Russell Russell uh, how can I assist you if you're calling them oh wait we have some spills for us to know by the way So yun, if you, if you're calling them like uh, hi, this is Russell from so and so company. We're calling you today because of, and then you tell you tell them the purpose of your call, diba? Pero yun post mo na yung ano post mo na yung situation mo. So I'll try to answer it by the end of the by the end of the training. Okay. So. So yeah, write down your spiel and then repeat the process 20 times. When you write down your spiel, study each sentence, study each phrase, and then figure out which words make your customers angry and which words make your customers happy. So uh, very simple. Your, your customers are calling you because, of, uh, because they have a problem and your job is to give them a solution. So for example, your uh, your customers have a come to you with a problem and you got back to them with another problem. Di patay na. Uh, well, what usually happens is when you make your customer angry, your AHT is going, magiging long call yan. Number two, yung quality mo ba ba ba. Number three, yung uh, customer feedback mo ano. So typically three. Tapos if you're also trying to sell to the customer, hindi ka naman kabenta yon. Kasi galit na nga sa yun. So your objective is to identify these uh, elements that make the customer uh, customer angry. And you have to figure figure it out every time. Uh, you guys have like comp company policy and there are things that you can't do, diba? Customer calls, I want a full refund. Eh, hindi naman kayo nagbibigay ng full refund. So, wala, diba? Hindi, hindi pa, no sir, I can't, I can't do that, sir. Diba? Tapos, uh, I'm not sure if it's my previous job or the job before that, we're not supposed to say I can't. Diba? So, that, that's that's actually a good thing to ano, so to think on your free time. So if if you can't do something, what can you do instead? So when uh, uh, there there's this uh, restaurant, na that's also a meat shop, and I buy I buy uh, I buy meat from them, but I don't pay extra to have it cooked. And as a uh, as a result. Um, Kasi may microwave sa office eh. So may microwave ko na lang doon. Uh, so at first, kumukuha ako ng sauce doon sa restaurant nila. Or Chestershire uh, mayonnaise or whatever. And then the guy told me, Ay, Sir, hindi po pwede kumuha ng sauce. And then, uh, and then I, I got it. And um, I, I stopped getting sauce. And then I, uh, I figured out na how would how would that situation improve and then i, I realized na ano, i started getting salt and pepper instead tapos mina microwave ko na lang na diet ako so i just get from the meat shop and just cook it sa microwave and um and then yeah naisip ko but hindi niya naisip yun no um Hindi ako pwede kumuha ng sauce, pero salt and pepper kung mina microwave. So, so the first thing that you acknowledge when you're dealing with a customer is you need to acknowledge what they're trying to do first. You have to understand. 
piko na piko na ako dun sa ano na yun, dun sa restaurant slash meat shop na yun. Kasi, hindi nila, ano, parang, they didn't even try to understand what I was trying to do. Kasi, parang, I, I work next door, minamicrowave ko lang kasi, I just need something para hindi super plain yung meat na binibili ko sa kanila. And, yun, parang ang bobo lang. And, yun yung, yun yung, and the reason I'm telling you this is, yun yung ano, yun yung impression na binibigay nyo sa customer. Like, if you, if your customer has a request, and your, ano, your response is, ay sir, hindi pwede. Wala kaming, ano, wala na, ba, ba, uh, ang, ang dating nyan, sir, hindi pwede, bahala ka sa buhay mo. Diba? Oh, another example. I stopped eating rice for, ano, like, nine, 90% of the time, I don't eat rice. So, pag kumakain ako sa labas, hindi ako bumibili ng anything with rice. So, I I, I go to this place, and, di ba, pag sa karenderya, pwede ka bumili ng ulam lang. So, most of the time, kakain ako sa labas, bibili ako ng ulam lang. Pero some places, may mga set meal sila, may mga valley meal sila. And then, I, I, I ask the counter, um, Miss, magkano yung ganito? Pero walang rice. Sasabi, ang sasabihin sa'yo ng, ano, ng, ka, ng staff, ay sir, same price, pero walang rice. Tangin na, di ba? <laughs> like, I, I've, I've gone to a lot of places na ganun yung sagot. Sa, uh, kahit, kahit Jollibee nga, eh. magkano yung chicken joy, pero without the rice. They're gonna say same price, pero we're not gonna give you the rice. Walang ano, walang, no, no one thinks about these things. Napaka-bobo. And when you're in customer service, when you're a customer and you're looking for a solution to your problem, and you talk to a customer service representative or a company's representative, and supposedly sila yung expert dun sa trabaho, napaka-bobo nila kung ganun. Diba? You're, you're not supposed to, um, you're not supposed to reject a client's request without offering a solution. And you should think of a solution on your free time. Kasi, uh, in a call center, paulit-ulit lang yung calls. You get this, you get the exact same thing. And, um, and, uh, you have to come up with solutions. And one of the top agents that I learned from was able to turn uh, technical support calls into actual sales using using this method and I was able to copy him using this method and I'm gonna share it with you uh, next diba? so yun, write down your spiel figure out what's making the customer angry what's making the customer happy right uh, Ay, nag-reply na si Ross Phil. So, billing daw. Billing yung call nila. So, yun. Ano? Uh, diba? Thank you for calling. And then you ask them how you can assist them. Oh. And then you answer. Diba? Tapos, I'm not sure if uh, dead air is part of your QA, but uh, you can you can figure out how to improve your dead the dead air as well. And the way you do that is by by saying things that you're supposed to say during the call. I'm not, I'm not sure kung anong company ito or ano, pero usually dapat meron to eh. Um, so, write down your own spiel. So, make sure, the best start of call is uh, yung greeting. Thank you for calling. My name is Rusville. How, how can I assist you? And then at the end of the call, uh, in usual, is there anything else that I can assist you with? Or uh, do you have any other questions that I may answer for you? And then, um, and then yeah, you end with thank you for calling. Tapos, uh, depending on your company, baka may pinapas- pinapasabit pa sila na, uh, yeah, I'd just like to remind you that our company is open, our customer service is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Uh, if you experience any problems, just call us at any time or you have any questions, visit our website, Ganto Ganto. 
um, yeah, uh, in lang, write down your write down your spiel and figure it out, diba? Yeah, I'm in notebook. Eh. You have you have to think about these things. If you, if you want to be uh, if you want to be successful, you have to study your craft. You have to be an expert. You don't depend on other people to make you become an expert. Because not a lot of people are gonna teach you these things. Konti lang yung mag uh, ano sa uh, when I was when I was working in a call center, I'm not. I'm not sharing my tips. I'm, I'm, I'm sharing tips on how to get hired sa call center, but I'm not sharing how to become a top agent. The only reason why I'm free, or the only reason why I feel free to share about these things is you're not my competitor anymore. I'm not, I'm not in this field. So I'm just uh, sharing these things so you can, you can take advantage of the things that I used to take advantage of. Diba? Uh... So yun. And then the the other thing is you need to always talk to your um you you always need to talk to your boss and depending on the stage it can be your trainer it can be your TL because only listen to your boss about what to do. Because sila yung nagpapa nagpapasweldo sa yun. Well, not really your trainer not your ano. Pero uh it's it's the boss's job or it's the boss's metrics to make sure that you become successful and um, this is a common question that I ask the interviewer and I also ask the trainer and I also ask the TL that I uh, that gets assigned to me um, because these people want you to succeed uh, the most diba? and the main reason is the company invests in you uh, and if you don't do well in your job, they lose the investment. So, yeah. So, the question is this. What are the most common attributes of top performers in this account? So, I'm gonna repeat that. Uh, what are the most common attributes of top performers on this account? So, you ask that question and then you take down notes. So, for example, customer service means it's a patient. You have to be patient, or uh, if it's related to sales, you have to be aggressive about asking for the sale. You just write that down, and then kung ganon ka, good for you. Kung hindi ka ganon, learn how to become that kind of person. Okay, because um, when you get hired in the call center, you get hired for a job, and your job is to do your job, diba? Um, sometimes in my lessons, I compare call center work to acting. So, yun, imagine mo, artista ka. You're supposed to deliver a spiel. You're supposed to get a response. Diba? Si, what's, his, what's her name? Katrin Bernardo. Her job is to make the masses love her. To make the masses buy her merchandise, uh, buy tickets to her movies, watch her shows. Ikaw, ang job mo lang, make the customer happy. So, although pareho, ang difference lang niya, marami siyang, marami siyang, marami, uh, yung work niya gets to, ano, gets to a wider audience. Pero ikaw, ang job mo is to be focused on just one customer. Diba? We have a question from uh, Daryl. Uh, he's asking for some tips on how to become an active listener in the concern of the customer. Um, meron akong ano, meron akong, meron akong advantage back when I was working uh, for the last call center that I worked for. And that advantage is that hindi sila ganun ka strict sa ano sa paperless na hindi sila paperless office basically sinasabi nila paperless office sila pero hindi sila ganun ka strict so what i did was i took down notes okay and now that i think about it even if paperless sila usually the company provides you with a way to have like notes 
on your computer. So take notes, write down the most important details of the call. Because you're supposed to take notes during the call. Kailangan, chacha ko isang page yung ginawa ko nung Saturday. So, yun, paulit-ulit lang ako eh. Review your spiel. It's 12 Review uh, the spiel. After you've written down your spiel, listen to top agents, how they call. If may top agent doon, uh, just just sit down, malapit sa kanila. You don't have to listen to them, ano, but... Try to, try to figure out, compare their spiel to your spiel, if you can. Find out what top performers are doing differently. And then also, on your free time, find solutions. Use, use Google to find solutions to several uh, different problems. Ask your boss for help. Paulit-ulit lang. Ask your boss for help. Uh, ask... Um, Ito, uh, so when you when you get hired, um, usually at the end of product training, ang first question ko to the trainer is, what are the top five most difficult calls that we will be receiving based on your experience? And then you write down those calls so you are aware. Those calls will have their own spiel. Diba? And then, uh, you also write down what are the top five long calls. So, pag inaayos mo na i-HT mo, ito na yun. What are the top five uh, long calls that you usually receive? Um, and then you work on it. You figure out what's making this call long. Diba? And then, uh, What are wala, na yun. So what are the uh, top five uh, long calls? What are the top five most difficult calls? And then what are the top five most common calls? And then you fix the spiel, because sometimes the spiel is longer than it should be. And then you can you can edit out a few words. But sometimes you can say three words using one or two words instead. So you figure that out. Diba? And then you, uh, so you have like the long version of your spiel and the short version of your spiel, so you can speed things up. You, you, uh, you have to combine these elements to make a good call. And then, um, and uh, a lot of the, these is trial and error. But if you, if you go through this on your notebook with the questions that I've given you, this will be a lot simpler. Uh, and Try to solve your problems on paper. When you try to, uh, sometimes kasi very slang sila, that's why I, it's hard to understand. Sabi ni Daryl, uh, yeah, ganun talaga, kailangan mo masanay dyan. You have to, you have to be familiar with all the different American accents. Diba? Um, it's a lot of practice. In lang talaga. It's a lot of practice. You have to put in the work. Um, yeah, if you're not writing things down, then you're choosing not to learn. Diba? So you have to write these things down. You have to solve the problems on paper. And um, you have to figure out what are the most uh, common attributes of top performers on your account. You, um, so you ask your boss, you ask your trainer, you ask your team leader, but you have to answer this for yourself as well. What do you see in them? What's anong pagkakaiba nyo? And then you figure out what you need to copy. Diba? Okay lang mga opya. And then you can uh, you can adjust it to your personality. So, when you solve problems on paper, break down your problem into small parts. Uh, 
every line, ask yourself, what's the best way to say this? What's a better way to say this? And uh, you should be fine. Um, madami akong na-encounter dun sa training batch ko. They hated their job. And if you hate your job, the problem is not because the job sucks. It because it's because you suck at your job. You're not good with what you do. Uh, when people say I'm looking for greener pastures, the problem is that everywhere you go, you bring yourself with you. So you're the malas, not the trabaho. You have to be good at what you do in order for you to jump into the next opportunity. Kasi kung top agent ka <clears throat> and then you jump to a new company, dapat top agent ka rin doon. Pero kung bulo ka, you jump to a better company, matatanggal ka lang din doon kasi you're not doing too well. Siguro merong tiny improvements if you jump around. Pero the better way to approach this is to get better at what you do before you move to the next company. Diba? So... Yun, actually, yun na yung, yun na yung i-cover ko. So, how to get regularized in summary. Um, make sure that your attendance is perfect. And then, slowly work on your other KPIs by studying your script on your notebook. Diba? You're gonna do a lot of writing. You're going to do a lot of problem solving on your paper. Study your account. Um, ask your boss for help. Ask your uh, ask your boss what are the long calls. Or, siguro if you've been up in a, in a call center for over a month, you already have a grasp of ano ba long calls, ano ba nangyayari during long calls, ano ba yung difficult calls na hindi ko masolve, ano ba yung common na calls, and then you answer that yourself. Kung ano, and then ask ask your boss for help, de ba? Tapos every every time you go over the different situations, uh, how can I say this better, diba? When you go through your spiel, you go through each line, you say, how can I uh, say this better? And then, uh, always ask yourself, what makes a customer angry? What makes a customer happy? And then focus on reducing the number of things that makes the customer angry and increasing the number of things that makes your customer happy and that's it you just copy the script you're good to go and yeah actually yun eh okay na tayo tagal ko na 12 o'clock this is my first live that's more than an hour I think so yeah yun yun Anyway, so if you watch this video up till the end, please make sure to uh, like the page, visit the callcentertrainingtips.com website. We have over 200 lessons there. If you have a question, leave a comment or you can send me a message with your email. I'll also send you a free reviewer and a link to the website. If you've enjoyed this video, you have a friend that you think will benefit, Please share this with them. Um, if you share my, uh, if you share my posts and my videos, people are, uh, you'll help me reach more people. Diba? And uh, if you're hired already in a call center, let me know. And uh, this helps me. I know this helps me stay encouraged to do these these videos. And uh, yeah, any question that you have. Uh, send send me a message and I'll, I, I collect all these questions and answer them on the videos. Plus, um, if you have, do you have any suggestions, comments, violent reactions, just comment comment away and um, I'll I'll try to improve this live video setup. So and f first time ko rin mag ano, portrait ah, landscape mode. Sa dati portrait. Okay lang, na. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yun. Uh, isip ko pa, ano kaya next topic? Uh, I'll go live tomorrow as well. Ito lang, ah. Ito lang. Para ma-announce ko na rin.
Okay, pag may question ka pala, pwede, pwede, pwede ka pa mag-post. Habang namimili pa ako ng topic para bukas. Madami pala akong top agent tips dun sa website. So, punta ka na lang callcentertrainingtips.com So, kung if, if you're aiming for top agent, Uh, yeah. yeah, that would be a good idea. Sige, ito na lang. Ayan, sulit ko lang. Uh, hindi na tayo mag... Ito na makalimutan. So, um, so tomorrow's topic will 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 go back to ano uh, for people who are still trying to get hired in the call center. We'll we'll, we'll be focusing on introductions. Um, introductions are you introducing yourself. Na na na. Gita lang ako sa nay mag salita ng matagal. So yeah, practice introdu- uh, we're we're gonna pra- uh, talk about introductions. So so yun uh, on tomorrow's live, bring your notebook. I'm gonna give you some questions that you can practice, so you can have better introductions. And uh, if you have your introductions mapped out or thought of properly, and you're used to it. Uh, you're gonna be able to answer questions like tell me about yourself really easily. You're gonna talk. Uh, you're gonna be able to answer questions like, um, what are your strengths, weaknesses? Uh, what are you good at? Why should I hire you? Um, you're going to be able to introduce yourself to your boss and uh, give a good first impression. So, yun, uh, that's that's what we'll be talking about in the. Introductions. Um, anyway, the questions pa ba dito? Um, anyway, uh, shout out for uh, everyone who listened to this video live. Uh, Russell, Tan, uh, Philip, Jace, Andrew, and a whole bunch of other people. Andreas Pilak and Daryl and... Lorena, Jacqueline, Nanya. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow at b- about the same time. Um, there's a there's an option there where you can follow not- notifications, so you will get a I follow when I go live, something like that. If you if you click follow, you will get a notification whenever I go live. So. If you have ano, if you have data all the time, sige. Uh, sama kayo sa live. Iba pag live eh. Kasi, syempre, you ask questions and I'll be able to answer it on the spot. Versus, yun. Yung iba kasi nagtatanong sila tapos na yung live eh. So, nasagot ko pa rin naman. Pero, yun nga. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, let's have lunch. Bye, guys.